All right, guys, let's get this body off the chassis so we can see how bad it really is. All right, something's getting hung up over here. This bolt here is still, still tied in. Let's see if we can knock that out. Rust, rust it in there. You gotta get a socket on there. Let's try that again. All right, something is still holding on. Oh, yeah, some cable or something getting hung up. Oh, man. Dang that thing. <laughs> oh. All right. What do we got? It's tight. Well, we got the speedometer cable. We're going to have to disconnect. Something else is hung up over here. Another bolt. Mm, yeah, there's one more stuck in there. <laughs> there it goes. Wow. Ooh. Oh, that 
might be it. It's gonna have to be a couple cables or something, I would imagine. Probably gonna have to read, uh, get rid of this cable, this accelerator cable from the wheel. There's gotta be something back here. Cables, electrical cables probably. Yeah. Try it again. There it is. We're close. I think we gotta get the speedometer cable off. We have to knock this thing off and pull it out. It doesn't want to come through that hole right there. I mean, it might. Let's see. I don't think that hole is big enough. Nah. Gotta get it out of here. Anything else? You guys see anything else attached? Ooh, I think it's free. There's a cable we can cut. Just some gnarly cable I had here going somewhere. There's a couple more cables in there we can get rid of. Yeah, a couple more on that side. Okay. Look at all that stuff, man. The nest and everything. Wow. No wonder that engine wouldn't turn over. It's seized up. All right, let's get that speedometer cable off. This one's fighting me, guys. It's amazing how sometimes these little things can get you. Probably gonna have to get a new one, but I don't think they're terribly priced. It's just, it is jammed. It's jammed in there. Sorry, buddy. Uh, yeah. It should be free now. It's a roller. <laughs> oh man, look at that thing. Wow. It's rolling.
That's pretty cool. <laughs> oh man. Ooh, we got some work to do, boys. Look at that. Man, that's cool. Well guys, there it is. <laughs> wow, look at that, man. That thing was used and abused and left to rot. Typical or, or more than typical grease everywhere. Dirt, rust. Uh, this has got to be the worst one that I've seen. And I've had a few pretty bad. <laughs> this is pretty bad. I, that's, that is just insane look at the size of that nest multiple nests in here and junk and dirt it's just crazy but we're gonna make it look like new it's gonna be sweet the body's gonna stay just like it is do the heater channels clean it up a little bit and put it on the chassis chassis is gonna be like brand new rebuilt front end new pans New transmission or rebuilt transmission. Unless this one works, which it probably... <laughs> it might. I guess we could try it. Engine. Brand new engine. Or maybe we'll try to get that one going. We'll see. It's going to be fun. Wow. Look at that. It's so cool. Just hanging there. Man. You can really see what's going on now. <laughs> it's a lot easier to get to everything with the body off. All right, guys, let's get this engine off of here. We gotta get all this stuff off. It's pretty nasty. Yeah, it's bad. Real bad. Wow, it just goes and goes. Wow, that pan just came right off. <laughs> Ooh.
see if the numbers match. Numbers match. <laughs> awesome. Very cool. All original car, guys. Probably everything in here is original. trying to get all this junk off of here so we can get to the bolts and remove the engine. There's one over here somewhere. That one's missing. <laughs> that one's not even there. Somehow it fell out. You know, they probably took the engine out at some point to service it. That thing could have fell out too, I guess. This one's missing. This one we're gonna undo. And then there's two on the bottom. And then that's it, the engine comes loose. Just have to cut this accelerator cable. The fuel line already broke because it was rusted through completely. So we'll just cut this, we'll get a new accelerator cable. And uh, new everything, basically. <laughs> but I gotta get under there and see if I can find those bolts. I'm gonna jack up the engine, jack up the rear and See if we can crawl under there and find those two bolts underneath. We'll get those loose and then we'll take that last one out of the top and then it should break free. Let me get some of this stuff out of the way. Okay, there's a couple 17 millimeter nuts under there that we're gonna have to get to somehow. Okay, let's crawl under there and see if we can find those bolts. They're probably covered in dirt, and grease, whatever. It's gonna be hard to see them. They're up in here somewhere. You gotta see them. But they're up in there. See that one? Hidden in there. And there's one over here. Sledgehammer on or something. I need a sledgehammer. There we go. All right. I gotta get that one loose. All right, let's keep trying. Whew. It's a tight fit. All right, we got those out. That was not easy, guys. <laughs> this one should be pretty easy. Should be. There we go. All right, we're close. I'm gonna cut this accelerator cable. We'll get a new one. This one's all rusted out. Heater cables, all rusted out. 
This one's holding on. This one is holding on. We don't need heat in Florida. <laughs> yeah, it probably would have came out a little easier with those those loose. Roaches and all. Woo. All right, guys, there it is. The engine is off. Woo. <laughs> Man. Woo. A little dirty, a little rusty, and a little dirty. This thing looks original to the core, man. Doesn't look like this thing was ever taken apart. It'd be cool to see that running again. Kind of like what we did with Rusty's engine. I don't know, is this a 40 horse? Or is this a little bigger? It's hard to see the numbers in here. Let's see if we can see these numbers here on the engine case. It's uh starting to deteriorate. I don't think we're going to be able to see them. This is a soft brush. Um, but something's been eating at the aluminum. You can see it there. It's been eating away at it. Yeah, it's pretty much gone. I don't think there's anything there. It's hard to tell. All rusted out. All right, the engine is out. We're gonna get the front beam off. We're gonna get the transmission off. And uh, what else? <laughs> I wanna lower the bug just in case there's a windstorm that comes through and doesn't bang it up too much. Um, I think I'm just gonna set it down on these rims for now until I get a little dolly for it. So let's bring the bug down and then we'll continue Stripping this chassis down. All right, we got the car down, the body, just in case we have a windstorm come through. It doesn't slam it around. Not that it would hurt it too much, but you know, we don't need any more dents than we already have. <laughs> I know the front beam will be easy to get off. Let's go ahead and put something under that front and knock that thing off real quick. Okay guys, there's little tabs on these bolts to keep them from coming loose. So we gotta tap those off real quick. out pretty easy. There we go. That's it. I think that's it. <laughs> All right. It's loose. Oh, we got some uh, brake cables here. I gotta get cut. Brake lines are toast, so let's go ahead and cut them.
That should be it. Let's see if we can get this on here. I'm gonna take those wheels off here in a second. Something like that. Let's get those wheels off. All right, guys, we're getting closer. We gotta get this transaxle off. Parking brake cables, brake hoses, clutch cable, and a couple other things, some bolts and grease. <laughs> Let's do it. There's a parking brake cable here that we need to disconnect. The parking brake emergency brake cable is connected to the chassis, which is connected to the axle. So in order to remove that axle, transaxle, we gotta remove that cable. And it's jammed in here. Let me see if I can get it loose. I get all this knocked off. So. There it is. It's a 13. Got the grease and dirt off of there. Let's see if we can get it loose. There we go. There it is. Had a washer on it. Lock washer. It should pop out of there now. There we go. There's that bracket. Kind of locks it in there. All right, we're getting there. We gotta get this brake line out of the way so we can get to this bolt here. The others we have access to, but this one's kind of tight. And we're gonna knock this shock out of the way. Hopefully that thing comes off of there. Look at all that rust. We gotta get this brake line out of the way too. I'm not worried about saving it, but let's see if we can. We're gonna need new hoses, see that? It's completely clogged up and seized. And then we can just knock that off of there. See if we can get this off. There we go.
There's also two big nuts here holding the transmission to the chassis. And they're all covered in grease, of course. Dirt. Okay, it's one on the other side. We'll get those cleaned up. And then there's a couple nuts under here. Transmission mounts, you can't really see them through here. There's a mount under there. You can kind of see them right there. There's one there and there's one on the other side. Okay, those are out. Let's see if we can get this big one out. It's a 27. Look at those mounts. These are more mounts for the transmission. They just completely snapped off. All right, we just gotta get that clutch cable off and it should pull out of there. This is an 11. All right, well, we'll add that to the list of things we need to buy. <laughs> uh, it's all rusted in there. Oh, I'm gonna need something stronger than that. All right, this cable's fighting me. Let's see if this will work. <clears throat> yeah. Those are awesome. All right, is there anything else that I'm missing? Hmm. This cable, I get this cable off right here. Let's give it a shot. Come on, baby. <sighs> Might need a hammer or something to. Oh, there's more. Another brake cable. That should be it. Let's try it again. Standby. All right, we got more. There's something, uh, what is that thing called? A little coupler. Where is that thing? It's under here, I think. <clears throat> there it is. come out maybe all right one more time come on baby yeah. there it is
it's pretty nasty <laughs> this is the nastiest one i've seen and i've seen a couple of nasty ones for sure it's pretty bad a lot of grease and dirt and stuff on there they were driving it with an oil leak for a long time some georgia clay on there we're getting there guys Engine's out, transmission's out, front axle, front beam, transaxle, engine. It is stripped down. We gotta get that pedal cluster out of there, master cylinder out of there, old brake lines and hoses, the shifter, the parking brake, seat belts, and some other stuff. Get these pans off of here, these old pans. We got new ones coming from Wolfsburg West. We're gonna strip this thing completely down to the core we might even sandblast the tunnel or at least wire wheel it really good. Let's see if we can get this master cylinder and this pedal cluster off of here. Mm. Oh man, it is nasty. Hold your breath, guys. Hold your breath. Mm. Okay, that was nasty. <laughs> wow. You can see the bolts now, though. We gotta get these bolts out. There's one there, there's one here. And, uh, and then the master cylinder bolts are here and here. And then we gotta release that accelerator cable here. And that thing should pop out. The clutch cable is gonna be connected in there. We should be able to pull that out of there. Let's do it. Those right out of there. Loose now. Something else is holding it. This this gas pedal. It's it somehow. I mean, it's completely rusted down here. We're gonna have to probably just break that off. We're gonna need a new pedal, I think. <laughs> See if we can get the master cylinder loose. Uh, yeah. Get a 
I did in there. There we go. Cut those lines. Ooh, final. Man, that thing still doesn't want to come out. What am I missing here? Got it. <laughs> that sucker was just hung up on it. Bad. All right. We're getting there. Man, that sucker fought me right there, boy. She's going to need uh, something. <laughs> and uh, dirty, a little rusty. Pretty gnarly, guys. Pretty gnarly. We're going to need all new brake lines and hoses, master cylinder, brake pads, all that stuff. All right, guys, let's strip this pan down. Got that one off pretty easy. The other one should be even faster. Cut through there. Cut through here. All right, guys, the pans are off. That wasn't too bad. They're pretty bad shape. I think that's the worst that I've seen. The Gia was 
pretty bad, but not that bad. <laughs> this is about as bad as it should get, I would imagine. All right, guys, I'm gonna get this mess cleaned up and call it a day. All right, Louie? Yeah. We still got a lot of work to do on this chassis. It's gonna, you know, we're gonna have to do a deep dive into scraping all this grease off and peeling all this insulation off of here. That's gonna take some time. It's gonna take a little time to see. Ooh, it's pristine under here. Hopefully this stuff here is not too bad. I mean, it's pretty bad, <laughs> but hopefully it's not too bad and we can use this tunnel. Uh, I think we'll be all right. It's pretty sweet under here. That insulation really protected it, I guess, in some ways, but this is all pretty crispy right here but that's just the where the old pan was we'll clean this up it's gonna be a little rough here but I think it'll be okay hopefully <laughs> all right guys comment below let me know what you think about this build see you on the next one later all right let's get this mess cleaned up <laughs>